and hey everybody and welcome back to another for the love of dogs video uh, today's video is going to be a grooming video I am going to show how I groomed this labradoodle a uh, very good dog and I figured she's a good one to show how to groom on and I will go through all the steps of what I did I shot it in time-lapse and it's kind of fast so I'm gonna try my best to explain along with it uh, what I'm doing and I will put the link in the description to everything I have used in the video uh, so you guys can go on to Amazon and get you know whatever supplies you like or you know whatever uh, but without further ado let's get to the grooming so I'm using my Andis Pulse CR clippers with a 30 blade underneath and a 5 8 guard comb on top of that and I'm just going with the with the way the coat grows uh, going down its sides, down its legs. Uh, you never want to go reverse, that will be double the shortness. Um, and just go side to side on their legs um, and on their front legs especially so that you make sure you're getting all the hair. Uh, and down the feet, down the back of the feet, and then I do um, way high up underneath the chin and um, from behind one ear to the other ear straight across so that uh, I do a different length on their head. I do two lengths longer. I will be doing the 7 8 comb on the top of the head um, and using a Chris Christensen brush to brush the head and the face and then the 7 8 comb and I just go from back to front and then down the cheeks a little bit but I don't use a clipper on their face. And then I'm going to be using a Bravura on a 10 for um, under the eyes. And then for this, I'm just showing how to do feet. I use my Chris Christensen comb to comb the foot out. And then I feel for where the toenails are uh, and make a straight line across the front so that toenails aren't showing. And then just do the sides. And then I fluff up the top and just scissor that round a little bit. Um, and I just go so that there's no toenails showing. And then any hair that is long um, on top of the biggest pad on the foot, I cut that off. And I will show you how I do that as well on the back foot. Uh, any, you know, sticky outy hairs. And I just make sure no toenails are showing because that's not cute and I don't, I don't like pointy feet either. So I just go straight across once again, um, find where the toenails are, and just go round. Just with the shape of the foot. I don't take too much off the sides. That's why I usually do the front of the foot first so that I can see how round and wide the circle needs to be. And then just trim the back of the foot, and there you have it. 